Hey, what's up guys? This is Austin from Jones Bros Garage back again today for another great video. And today we'll be talking about this race suit behind me, which is a Sedici Corsa. We'll go over if it's worth it, fit and finish, why I bought this suit, and we'll go ahead and get on the road and test it out. So Sedici is a cycle gear in-house brand. It is cycle gears brand. And it generally has a bad reputation for being poor quality which in my opinion, they've been improving over the years. You know, for example, my brother had a pair of Sidici gauntlets and they're known for getting holes in them and his do have holes in them. So basically their gear is just usually known to be subpar and wears out quickly, doesn't last. But I do think that over the years they've improved and I do see some improvements over their old gear with this suit. So Sidici suits are generally more American fitting, so they're better if you're a little chubby, maybe a little bit stocky, or even if you're a little bit muscular. Whereas the European brands like Alpine Stars and Daneezy, or however you prefer to say it, they're more of a European fit, which is more like tall and lankier. Although this suit here is the Corsa, which is supposed to be a more aggressive race fit, so it should fit a little bit tighter. They also have one called the Chicane, which is kind of like a sister suit to this, but it's more relaxed and more American fitting, I guess. I think that's actually um, how they say it, is it's more American fitting. But basically, this Sedici Corsa is supposed to be a little bit more aggressive, tighter of a fit, more, I won't say exact of a fit, but just more, you know, tight to your skin than the chicane. The chicane's supposed to be a little bit more relaxed fitting. So even though this is their more aggressive suit, this is still marketed as a street suit. One of the points that they use to market this as a good suit for riding on the street is it has 3M reflectors on it in different areas. And those are supposed to make you more visible and they kind of are supposed to outline like the silhouette of a person so that people on the road notice there's a person there and not just, <laughs> I don't know, a leather bound dummy. And it also has this little pocket in here that you can put stuff in, like a phone, which is good for street riding. So I'll cover more of this later, but some of the reasons I bought this suit. I went to Cycle Gear. I plan on riding on the track soon, and my wife was getting her new bike, and we needed something to do. So we went to Cycle Gear just to check out some of the gear. I will say I usually try not to because you'll find better deals online. And generally, Cycle Gear in-house brands like this Sedici have a bad rap, you know. Just most people say that they're not the best quality and everything. So I usually try to avoid Cycle Gear. But on this particular day, we decided to go. And the big thing is I really wanted to get an idea of how a one-piece leather suit would fit me. Because I plan on starting to ride track soon and I've never worn one. So I need to get kind of like a baseline of maybe what size I am. Obviously, I found out that I'm going to need a custom fit suit, which I will be getting. I'll touch on that later. But anyhow, this was the only suit there that fit me. I tried on, I really wanted an Alpine Stars that had tech air available, but it just didn't work. I'm only five foot six, and the arms and legs were too long for me. So I, there was just nothing I could do, you know. The torso fit me really well, but you know, it fit really well on my chest and everything. And I would have had room for a back protector or whatever, but the arms and legs were just simply too long. I found this suit here is really a perfect fit. And I still was a little bit hesitant to buy it, but the thing that pushed me over the edge, this suit is usually $599.99, so $600. But Cycle Gear had a sale that day, so this suit was $479. And then I joined their membership or whatever, and I got the suit for $431. Now, $430 for a brand new one-piece race suit is ludicrous. And obviously, that puts doubt in people's minds. That makes people worry that this suit is not gonna protect you in a crash. And I'm not gonna lie and say that those thoughts haven't crossed my mind. In fact, I will only be wearing this suit to get my feet wet into track riding, and then I will be getting a custom fit high-end race suit and I'll probably dedicate this as my street suit but I will say I am really shocked from the short time that I have had wearing this suit and riding with this suit 
it is a lot better than I expected to be honest with you. So we'll go ahead and get into some of the features and the quality or the fit and finish of this suit. So the suit comes in white or black. Obviously I got the black. It's just all black with a little bit of red and white on it. And they also have a white, which also has a little bit of red, but the only one they had there was the black, so it's what I got, but this does come in two different colors. This suit features CE level two armor. It's 1.2 to 1.3 millimeter thick cowhide, and it's double and triple stitched in failure points. The suit has perforations all over it. Well, actually they're like targeted perforations. They're in the places that you would want good airflow. And honestly, I wore this suit out on the road on a pretty warm day. It's an all black suit riding on the street. You deal with traffic and things. Obviously you have to stop things that you won't have to do on a track and I will say this suit did really well at keeping me cool and I was extremely comfortable. I mean obviously I got a little bit sweaty. It's a one-piece race suit, but it wasn't overly hot or anything. The perforations really helped to keep it cool. So this suit is double layered at the hips, knees, seat, and the thighs. I actually saw a video of a rip in an older Sedici that was kind of in the seat area, the thigh area between there but it seems like that was one of their older suits and now they've double layered there and they've also put triple stitching there, which is good. I mean, like I said, it seems like they're learning from some of their failure points and they're improving, which is something I like to see. So this suit has a removable moisture wicking liner, which does really well. Again, I mentioned I have sweat in the suit and it does really well with the moisture and the whole liner is removable. So you could go ahead and wash it. If for some reason, I know this is a cheaper suit, but if for some reason you wanted to replace that liner, you also could do that. Obviously the suit comes with replaceable knee sliders or leg sliders, and it also comes with replaceable elbow sliders. They seem pretty easy to mount new ones on. I don't think I'll be needing those anytime soon to be honest with you guys, but it seems like the knee sliders are on pretty good. Obviously I haven't tested them out yet. I haven't dragged knee yet. Hopefully soon I will be, but I have heard they wear down pretty quickly. But the one thing I will say is they're mounted really nicely. So we'll go ahead and cover some of the cons of this suit. The number one con for me probably is the debatable stitching. You know, is the stitching weak? I don't know. A lot of people say that the stitching on the Sedicis is going to be weak. Honestly, compared to the European brands, it probably is. So I guess you're taking a little bit of a gamble wearing this suit, hoping that it stays together. I don't really think it's as dramatic as people say. Don't get me wrong. People on forums and everything from what I've seen say, do not buy this suit. It will not keep you safe. It's not worth even trying a Sedici suit. Honestly, I disagree. Um, I think they've improved from what I've seen in their older suits. And this suit does seem like it has really good fit and finish. The stitching all seems good. And it seems like the suit is going to stay together. However, if you do happen to crash in this suit, another con is that you're probably not going to want to repair it. This is like a one and done suit. If I went down my first few track days in this suit and I punctured a hole through it or something, I'm not getting the suit repaired. Honestly, I'll either just wear it on the street, like I said, or I'll just be honestly throwing it away because for the price of this suit, it's not worth repairing. This isn't really a suit that will likely last you your whole life. This is more of a short-term suit. Maybe you get a season, couple seasons out of it. Even one season out of it, I'd be happy with, to be honest with you. Now, another big con is there's no back protector slot, which isn't a huge con because a lot of people will have standalone chest and back protectors, you know, which is what I plan on doing. But the thing, the issue with that is this is a cheaper suit. So you're gonna have to spend another $200 or whatever to get a standalone back protector which marketing this suit to an audience that's paying less, but then they're gonna to have to buy a standalone chest or back protector just doesn't really make sense in my eyes. I think it should have had slots for a back protector because honestly, if you have a standalone back protector, you probably would buy a better suit than this one. So that is kind of strange to me, but to me, it's not a huge deal. Um, like I said, I'll be getting a different suit anyway and I just want to have a standalone back protector, so that's something I'll be getting regardless. Another con for me is obviously this suit is not air or tech air compatible, which is something that I will be looking for when I get another suit. But at this price point, obviously you just, you're not gonna get tech air, which is fine, you know, it's not that big of a deal, especially because I'll just be starting out on track, which I think is, 
this suit really is good for somebody who's just getting into track or somebody who wants a good suit for the street. I think this suit actually would be incredible for the street, which is what I'll primarily be using it for once I get a better track suit. But this is kind of at that price point where it's a really good entry suit to get your feet wet and then you could upgrade to a better suit down the line. You don't want to spend a bunch of money on a custom fit suit, go to the track and realize you hate it. Or maybe you have a, a low side or some kind of wreck and you think, oh, that was scary. I don't want to do that anymore. So you don't want to just waste a bunch of money and throw it away. This is a great suit to get your feet wet with. And obviously, along with the stitching, the leather is questionable. You know, will it hold up? I do think it will hold up well enough to protect me, but I don't think it will last much beyond one higher speed slide. Say I go down at 60 miles per hour or so, I don't think that I'm going to be putting this suit on again after a crash like that, which is fine. It's just, it's a disposable suit really, you know, it's like you crash in this suit and it's pretty much done. Okay guys, so that's basically all I have to say about this suit. Uh, it would be nice if it had a back protector. Uh, it's a disposable suit will probably only last for one crash maybe two which for this price point is fine and obviously the only real way to test if this suit is going to hold up is to crash in it hopefully i don't but if i do obviously i will keep you guys posted and let you know how it holds up i honestly do trust this suit just the fit and finish of it feels really good i think this is probably one of the best products from sedici to be totally frank with you guys i wouldn't wear a sedici helmet I would never really have purchased Sedici items, but I'm actually honestly surprised by the quality of this suit. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's as bad as people say it is. And if you want to get a suit to get your feet wet, then I would say if you could get a good deal on this suit, then just go ahead and go for it. All right, guys. So out here testing this suit out on the road, feeling like a bit of a Power Ranger. Right off the bat, I'll say, I know this isn't a super sport bike, it's a super moto, which is why I'm kind of surprised that the suit feels comfy even sitting in this upright position. Obviously, a suit like this is more designed for something like a super sport where you're hunched over, but it's very comfy in this position. I don't feel limited on my movement at all. I feel like I have complete range of movement. And it's a pretty warm day for this area. It's in the mid 80s, Pennsylvania, humid. And I'm not really feeling hot. The, the perforations work really, really well for the airflow. Overall, I mean, I'm just really impressed by how comfy I am. This suit is just such a good fit for me, which is obviously why I bought it. But one thing I will say about wearing a suit in general on the street is you have to be careful that it doesn't inflate your confidence because if you're not used to wearing something like this, you'd feel very protected and like nothing could hurt you, which obviously is not the case. Um, you don't want to be riding above your skill level just because you have a proper suit on. But with that said, you know, getting back to the topic at hand, I am so comfortable, which is surprising because obviously a suit like this is made for a hunched over sport bike and we're sitting completely upright here on this supermoto. But surprisingly, I'm finding that I still have full range of movement I don't feel like anything is holding me back at all yeah baby yeah I mean I can move around on the bike very easily and I will mention it's really nice having that pocket I have a fanny pack on <laughs> right now because I have some of my GoPro stuff but I have my phone in my my pocket in the suit and I, I honestly, I don't even feel it. It's not really a bother at all. And this suit is pretty tight on me. So I don't think you'll be able to feel an issue with putting things in that pocket on your chest. Other than the fact that maybe it's a little bit of a safety concern. But 
out here on the road everything's a safety concern yeah honestly though like i said i i really just i can move my arms easily i can move around on the seat easily which is another thing i'll add another kind of sidebar i i have trouble with this this seat on this husqvarna 701 i mentioned some of my previous videos i tend to slide around on it and i don't really grip well to it yeah well that problem is completely out the window with a suit on i am stuck like glue to this seat honestly this bike just feels so much better with a suit on to be honest with you especially this suit because i just find it to be so comfortable <laughs> yeah baby and uh once i'm moving honestly i like i don't even realize that i have a suit on it kind of just disappears onto my skin i guess you could say to the point where i don't really feel it anymore see that's why i said that this suit i'll be using to get my feet wet on the track but i'll eventually be getting a custom fit suit and i'll be designating this to be my street suit because you know like on a on a chilly fall day you throw this on and a hoodie over it it's going to keep you warm and it's going to keep you extra safe and i honestly find it really comfortable you know even standing up and walking around with this suit on is not horrendous really i haven't noticed any issues you know this is my second or third time wearing the suit while on the bike i haven't noticed any fraying or stitching issues so far if it feels this comfortable on an upright bike like this i could imagine when i get on my track bike it'll be even better which is exciting to think about yeah i'd say if i have one takeaway from buying this suit i'm really impressed it seems like sadichi has up their quality over the years and they've improved on their suits i don't really feel like i'm at risk wearing this suit you know maybe it'll be a little bit quicker to come apart or have some issues than a name brand like alpine stars would but honestly it feels well put together it feels like it's all one piece I haven't had any fraying or issues yet in the couple times I've worn this suit. Everything seems to be high quality and nicely done. So I think maybe if you're thinking about this suit, then go take a look at it at a cycle gear if you can and uh, try it on. Or I guess you could just take my word for it and maybe be able to return it if you don't like it. But I will give you guys my word that this suit does seem high quality the zippers the stitching everything on it seems pretty good especially for the price that you're paying i really don't think you could go wrong with this okay guys so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and give that like button a little finger action and go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's the number one way you could support me and it just really helps out with my channel really love to see 10,000, you know sometime in the near future if you have this suit, thought about getting this suit, or any comments you have just about racing suits in general or questions, go ahead and leave a comment below. I answer all of my comments. I'm really good with that. So anything that you guys want to say, I'll go ahead and respond to. If you think that this suit is a horrible idea, it's not going to hurt my feelings. I honestly don't really care. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. Or maybe you're somebody who's more experienced at the track than I am you could give me some insight into if buying this suit is a bad idea because like i said i really don't think it's that bad of an idea but that's basically all i have for you guys today thank you for watching